Hey guys, Matt here from Code Tech and Show. I just want to talk to you quick about Shared Pointer and uh, let's say the downside of Shared Pointers or the risk or the thing you got to watch out for with Shared Pointers. And this is something I ran into a little bit while developing my game engine and using them. And uh, once I was writing a bunch of tests, a couple issues with how I was using Shared Pointers popped up and I just kind of want to go over that so people are aware of it and that you can learn for it. So I'm just going to tack this on to my uh, memory management series and hopefully people can get something out of it. Now the crux of the problem here that happens is, well, when you get another reference to the shared pointer, it increments the count, the use count. And as long as use count is not zero, this continues to exist in memory. So what this means is that if you're sharing these out, like if you want a bunch of different things to have access to an object, then you got to really think about the lifetime of things because sometimes something might still have it when the true owner should or goes out of scope or something, but uh, this piece of memory still exists. And then when you re-implement the object, something weird happens because it still exists and you end up trying to make another one. And then it's like you get some odd happenings with things living longer. Uh, I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense, but basically the way around that is to uh, get a weak pointer. So if you get a weak pointer out of a shared pointer, the weak pointer doesn't keep it alive. The weak pointer needs to be cast to a shared pointer uh, before use. So when you cast the weak pointer to a shared pointer, that checks if it's still alive. So that's how you can do it if you don't want its uh, it existing in memory to necessarily keep the life cycle going. Maybe you want access to something that's a shared pointer and sometimes you want to increment that use count. Other times you just want to reference to it as a weak pointer so that if the main thing goes out of scope, then uh, your weak pointer will just fail to cast as it's no longer there. That all probably sounds really complicated. So let me show you a little example. Okay, so I was running into some issues with my the lifetime of these and I'm still fixing a few more, but now that I've narrowed it down, I thought I'd just make a quick video on it. So some of the uh, problems I was having were related to how my, my camera was working. So I used to have a it camera where you could get any camera that currently exists in the game engine by its unique ID. And this used to return a shared pointer and this was causing some issues when I shut down the engine and then start a new instance because it does have a soft reset feature where you can essentially reset the whole thing, but not necessarily shut off the program. It just uh, gives it a fresh start. And even if you just close it, but you don't necessarily have your main interface variable go out of scope or destroyed, then anything you grabbed a shared pointer with, like my old version of Skit camera, would still continue to exist and cause some strange issues. I had the same problem with, uh, let's see, get window where you can get different uh, actual windows because you know this can run multiple windows you can have multiple windows open so you can get them that feature is not fully implemented but basically if you want to operate functions on the window or the camera you need to get access to it first and with this weak pointer version now these references won't keep it alive basically anything that's a shared pointer i have to carefully analyze for these soft resets that i'm doing in this particular case and your case might be different but you just got to think, do you want this thing to continue to exist if you get access to it? A lot of these probably don't need to be shared pointers at all. Maybe some of them should be unique pointers and uh, something like that. Or maybe they should be the accessors to them. These are all private here, so you can't necessarily access these. But the accessors to them should probably be mostly weak pointers. And when you use a weak pointer, I'll just show you an example. Let me take a look at my fly controls. Because these were kind of bugged with uh, shared pointers for a while. Because one of the things, this my little fly control setup, this basically just uh, just sets up some functions within the engine, kind of like a little helper thing. So I don't have to retype it every time I want fly controls, I can just call this function. But basically, one of the problems I was having was anytime I would call this get window, uh, it would create another shared pointer. And if I did it in the wrong place, it could cause it to just exist even when I shut down everything. So instead, now as you saw, get window now returns a weak pointer, and there it is. It's uh, well, I have it 
declare globally and locally only to this file because this is just you know self-contained file so now we get a shared pointer called fly window and you can't use this directly you can't really do anything with a weak pointer except one thing basically well there might be more but there's one main thing you do and you call dot lock on it and uh, set it equal to a shared pointer of that type so you see I have a shared pointer of the window I'm just calling it local fly window and call fly window dot lock and then I can operate on this shared one this will all just fail miserably if uh, this weak pointer doesn't exist so but this is now safe because as you can see this is within an if block and this is a lambda that's going to operate once every loop basically or anytime you click a mouse button and now what it does is it only gets a local uh, shared pointer. Now this isn't actually an egregious example because this one in particular wasn't causing problems when it was just directly casting to a shared uh, since it goes out of scope right here anyway and uh, it was just disappearing right away but there were some other ones that were causing problems uh, in other places. But basically that's how you use it. If you're getting a weak pointer I mean let's just look at this kit. This just returns says it just returns in window, right? In window is actually a shared pointer, but we're returning it as a weak pointer of the window. So that's handling all of that. And this is the weak pointer. So that's basically how you use it right there. You just cast it to a shared pointer before you actually use it. And that cast will take care of everything. And you wanna have this locally within your block and go out of scope very quickly so you might have this this whole setup something like this within a function that gets called every once in a while but destroys once it's done uh, well uh, there might be a better example somewhere let me look at one of my tests here yeah let's look at this model test here because it does a very similar thing so we init the engine sure that's all fine and good and then we want to make a camera that stays the screen size because you can do all kinds of stuff with cameras so we want to get a reference to the camera this is a weak pointer our weak reference so and this is global so this is where I was running into some of these problems so I have it actually declared up here here's just these weak references but uh, so if the engine shuts down these weak pointers won't keep these references alive and won't keep the memory alive that's the whole point because we want to reuse those for every test basically in this case at least you might not always want to do that but uh, it just depends what you're doing but I'm basically running up in this particular example I'm running bunch of tests in a row you know soft reset the engine start it up test something else soft reset start it up and I'm just making sure all the memory clears because hey, if it's an engine that runs on something you want it to be able to reset and clear properly so that's basically what I'm emulating with these tests so it's kind of a specific example that might be very different compared to what you're doing but uh, I digress and I'll continue so we get this weak reference so what we got to do before we use it is lock that weak reference cast it to a shared pointer and you might also notice that I have this scoped within these blocks that's because at the end of this we're all done with all this stuff and we want these shared pointers to go out of scope these local refs but we need to do this cast before we use them because we're going to use them here see when I uh, add a camera this uh, interface is the global it's the interface to the engine basically when we add a camera we want to set the camera size to the window width and height so that's why we want a reference to the window is so we can get its width and height it's just the way the engine is sure i could abstract it further and make these functions hidden away more but i just uh, decided to do a lot of things in a way where we can actually have access to some of the individual objects and then so like with the window you can get the window and you can access all its public functions same with the camera get the camera and you can access all its public functions that's just how this engine is uh, progressing and how it's being refactored as we go still got a lot of work to do and I'm working on it most days and you know it's kind of the same with the camera so we get the camera ref it's a weak ref we hover over this and that's not going to show yeah it gets a weak ref to that one of that ID so this is a weak ref to actually use it you gotta call this lock function on it and make a local variable and then I just want to call these function on it keep camera to window size true that just means when you resize the window camera resize along with it typically you want that if you got a camera set to your full screen 
but this supports multiple cameras. So you might want a camera that, you know, does specific things when you resize and you can set that up too, because you might have like a uh, rear view mirror type of camera or something, you know? So multiple cameras do work in this engine currently. And we got a field of view thing you can set on your camera too. And then the setup fly controls, we already looked at that function, but basically it wants a valid camera ID uh, from this ad camera to set up on. And uh, yeah, you wanna, well, there's a lot more going on here. I think that about covers it. So I hope that uh, clears up a little, a few things about shared pointers. If you're a little unsure of how to manage with them and uh, kind of the point of weak pointers and how to uh, not start leaking with shared pointers. And uh, let me know if you have questions. I'll try to go into some more details or maybe get better examples if it's not super clear or if it's, or if I'm just making it more confusing, but also uh, yeah, I guess that'll, that'll do. All right. Peace out guys.